my Sagittarius legacies, welcome back to my channel. For those that are returning, my loyal Sagittarius legacies. Okay, for those that are new, stick around. I think you'll be quite pleased with your reading. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and do a you versus them reading. I'll pull a spread for you, for them. I'll clarify and then pull some advice, okay? Uh, before I begin, I'm gonna be using the Angels and Ancestors Oracle deck to go ahead and pull an angel message directly for you. Let's go ahead, let's get into your reading and see what's going on with you guys. Make sure to leave a comment down below if the message resonates, okay? Hit that subscribe button if you like my content. Give it a like, okay? When you guys do that, it really helps me tap into your guys' energy and provide these accurate, spiritual, humble readings possible, okay? So, let's go ahead and begin. All right, I was just readjusting the camera because it was so much easier going downhill to face you, all right? You know, I had to film this video for a &E intervention or for Kensilly Communities, and, you know, I have just had the worst experience while at this park today. I mean, there's that truck like the garbage truck driving around this block there's this crow in the background <laughs> so i mean i really had a practice tolerance okay and just let it go and film this later okay i hope the noise doesn't bother you i'm trying to ignore it Okay, so we have star, ancestor, follow the voice of your soul, and be brave and honest, okay? I begin by pulling an angel message at the beginning and end of a reading. I'm hearing to go ahead and read this one for the beginning. All right. Okay, it says, Star Ancestor, follow the voice of your soul. Okay, heed the messages coming directly from your soul. The Star Ancestors is a term for extraterrestrial light beings who are dedicated to the healing and growth of the world. These incredible beings are divine embodiments of love who bring wisdom from the higher realms. Often people feel a sense of connectedness when they look up into the night sky and see the stars. I believe that's because they are remembering their starry connections. And those are what this card represents. The star ancestor is reminding you that you have otherworldly support and that your friends from the stars can help you if you are willing to be helped. They can support you in connecting with and following your soul's deepest calling. There is a deeper purpose to your human journey. Not only were you born on purpose, you were born for a purpose. You were born to be a bright light in the world and there are supporters out there in the universe sending waves of sending waves of energy to guide you at this universe 
to guide you at this time. Information and inspiration that has been coming your way recently is not new information, but memories. Your feelings of being drawn in a particular direction are the awakening of an aspect of your soul. You are being drawn towards a road that will not only light you up, but also help you light up your corner of the world. Continue following the cosmic guidance that is coming your way, Sagittarius, okay? Wow, okay, so I'm definitely picking up on, okay, I feel like there's this strong awakening within you, Sagittarius. I feel like, like the message was saying, I think you were unaware of your purpose, and I feel like you're just awakening, okay? Your soul is awakening, and you're starting to understand all that deja vu that you're experiencing, as not just deja vu but memories okay your soul is connected to ancestors and generations of divine time i strongly feel as if okay each each soul each our soul okay um is it's like we pick our soul prior to being born right so i'm strongly feeling like you had several tribulations and I'm hearing that you chose this soul of a warrior, okay? You understood that you were going to have these tests, these tribulations, these obstacles, these adversities that you were challenging. But because you are brave, you are honest, and you are strong, you chose one of the difficult souls because you knew you could handle it. And you're starting to awake now, okay? Your divine soul is starting to awake. And you're starting to understand what your higher purpose in this world is. Okay. I'm also hearing to look at up at night at the sky. Absorb the stars. Okay. There's this app that you could download. And I always see Venus. Okay. Venus is the ruler of Libra. I'm a Libra. And I consistently see Venus in the sky. So connect with your Cosmo and see if it's you know popping up for you frequently and start to connect the dots okay like this picture connect the dots connect the dots to your purpose all right i'm gonna be using the tattoo tarot okay i'm gonna pull a spread for you for them and then i'll clarify with the light sears Spirit guides, angels, please give me the cards that I need to see for Sagittarius. Okay, let's call, let's pull cards for them first, for Sagittarius, please. that crow in the background is psychic guidance okay crows are psychic they hear us they're one of the few birds that can actually hear what we're saying okay Sagittarius we have the hermit for you with the magician the four of Pentacles What is this? The, the Five of Cups. And we have the Four of Swords. Okay. Now let's pull cards for them. Spirit Guides Angels, give me three more cards, please. Thank you. Okay, so they have the world, Sagittarius. They have the Eight of Wands. Here's the Crow, the Ten of Wands. The Wheel of Fortune. 
okay, and the Seven of Swords. Okay, I'm pretty impressed with this spread, okay, I'll tell you why. Because them, okay, they have the World and the Wheel of Fortune right below the Hermit and the Magician for you, okay? So I'm strongly picking up that you guys are a very strong power couple, okay? Sagittarius, I consider you the one being the most resourceful, okay? It's like you have all the resources at your disposal. With the Hermit, you've been doing the self-growth, the self-development, okay? To better yourself, to be the best version of yourself. I do see you being in your head a lot here with the Four of Swords and the Four of Pentacles. It's almost like you're consistently doubting your abilities, even though you are so resourceful and so um, effective, okay? You're effective within your work environment. But every now and then you do spiral down here with the Five of Cups into this energy of like, this is that card of crying over spilled milk where you may make, you know, an innocent mistake and you're really hard on yourself, okay? I strongly feel for them that this is where they step in with the Ten of Wands and they kind of come and rescue you, okay? Uh, when someone rescues you, that's when they step in with the box of tissues, okay? It's like they extend their hand and they say it's okay, they pat your back and all that's doing is enabling that behavior of, you know, not being as strong as you have the capability of being, okay? You are a wise soul, okay? There's no coincidence why you got the star uh, ancestor, okay? Because you come from ancestral generations of soul calling, okay? As I step down, we have the eight of wands below the four of pentacles, okay? So it's like whatever slack or lack of finances that you may um, deal with, because I feel like as if you, even though you are resourceful, I feel like you have tendencies to overspend, okay? And here with the Eight of Wands, them, them can be your friend, your girlfriend, your boyfriend, a family member, a neighbor, a coworker, okay? Whoever you think of when I say them they really step in okay it's like they've had a lot of life experience and they understand how to mend and save the day okay they're used to saving the day okay they view the world it's like they they feel like as if they have this responsibility to save the world and with the wheel of fortune they, they are definitely spending on divine's timing okay I'm strongly feeling that they have a lot of money saved in the bank. It's like they're super effective in spending, finances, saving, investing, developing, okay? I'm hearing someone that is a, a public speaker, maybe in politics within the government, okay? Within the US Embassy is what I'm hearing, public relations. We have the Seven of Swords here, so I definitely see this person has been through a few relationships, okay? And they've been able to surpass them with ease, okay? I'm strongly feeling like they were the ones to break up the relationship, so I'm not picking up them really having any uh, real heartbreak. What I am seeing here with the Ten of Wands is it's like they have this strong intuition where they're able to step in, okay, and save themselves before they experience this heartbreak. Let's go ahead and let, let's use the Lightseer's deck and let me clarify for you the, the Hermit and the Magician. Okay, so we have the Knight of Pentacles, the Four of Pentacles, and the Ten of Wands, okay? So with the Magician, okay, the reason why you are so resourceful 
is because you're used to picking up the burdens of other people, Sagittarius, okay? You're willing to walk around and travel four miles, okay? It's like you carry this backpack full of rocks that really weighs you down. It's this burden that you're unwilling to let go. It's like the, the divine here is saying with the hermit is that your calling is to go ahead and really be mindful of your finances and with the knight of pentacles and four of pentacles is to protect what's your own okay stay in your own lane uh be mindful of what your purpose is and walk an independent road there's no need for you to be resourceful for others if they are not willing to put in that same effort back for you i'm definitely picking up you being of strong service to others but you don't get that energy reciprocated back to you okay what happens is when you pick up all these burdens is them your whoever they are they step in and they pick up the slack for you they pick up the lack of energy that you have okay they definitely come in and save the day let's go ahead and clarify the world and the wheel of fortune for them Spirit guys, angels, please clarify the Wheel of Fortune, please. Okay. So we have the Three of Swords with the Nine of Swords. So to clarify the Wheel of Fortune, okay, what I'm picking up is they had the ability to go ahead and step away from these relationships like I was just briefing you. They were picking up intuitively when it was appropriate to step away because this was going to create some type of heartbreak for them okay it's like they've been able to walk away from relationships with ease and as a result because they didn't commit to marriage to divorce they were able to keep their finances in check okay it's like this person has never been married okay has never had to have had a prenup a divorce they have been able to maintain their finances, even though this may have created a headache for whoever they left. Okay, it's like not only did they walk away with their whole with their heart whole, but they also walked away with making sure that they were financially whole, which is pretty clever, I feel like, on their part. Let's go ahead and clarify the world. Spirit guys, angels, please clarify the world. Thank you. So we have the two of swords. So yeah, they're used to walking in blindly to new situations, worldly situations. Like I was saying, I was picking up public speaker. They're definitely someone that walks into new environments consistently. They may travel. I'm hearing they travel to different countries. Okay, new experiences is what they're experiencing all the time. And again, they have two crows here and there's the crow in the background. So it's like they're able to intuitively hear and sense. They may be clairaudient, clairvoyant, or clair clair claircognizant, where telepathically they're receiving downloads and messages from the divine as to how to speak, what message to spread when they're within these public relations. Let's go ahead and let's clarify the the Ten of Wands, okay? Because I'm picking up a lot of crows for them. So I'm, I'm, I'm picking up, I'm hearing that they may be psychic and this is creating some type of headache for them because they're not understanding why they are hearing these voices. And as I cut the deck, here are more crows. I feel like they don't realize that they're embodying uh, this light a body where what they're saying when they're speaking and spreading this message is not really them, but it's the divine intervening in them for, for, for a purpose. What I'm picking up what, with clarification, okay, is we have the Queen of Pentacles and the Moon for the Ten of Wands. Which is basically saying, okay, them, they are the keeper of secrets, okay, of manifestations. They have the ability to go ahead and receive these messages from the moon, okay? The moon represents secrets and manifestations, and they're the, the secret keeper, okay? 
there's a reason why they work within government and they i feel like they may have a cat card okay they might have some high security clearance when they step onto military bases they may be in the military and there's a lot of information that is kept secret among them in their in their um their mind okay the reason why this is creating creating some type of heartbreak for them at times is because they want to be able to share these messages but the divine is intervening to make sure that they're only spreading what is appropriate and what is necessary some things are better kept secret for the protection of society let's go ahead and let's pull some advice for uh you and them okay this will just be generalized What is the advice for you, for for Sagittarius and them? Give me some, give me the cards that I need to see, please. Okay. So we have the Four of Cups with the High Priestess. Okay, like I was saying, there's a higher purpose, a higher calling for you, Sagittarius. Okay. You are feeling overwhelmed at times, like I was briefing you. There's this sense of that you are, you know, it's like you're stepping into very overwhelming waters. It's causing you to be emotional, but the divine is saying that you are clear seeing truth seeker okay you have these downloads from the divine and you upgrade right back up to the collective where you're starting to awake your soul is starting to awake and you're starting to understand what your higher purpose is okay for the end of your message we have night be brave and be honest okay be brave and honest let's go ahead and read what that is i like doing these at the beginning and end of my reading because they really go ahead show and compliment how accurate my readings are okay do the right thing sagittarius even if it isn't the easiest option Stand for what you know to be right and true. The knight is a knight in shining armor dedicated to the crown that his sword defends. In this sense, he is a protector of the Holy Grail and therefore of your spiritual growth and expansion. He represents the warrior in you. Whether you are male or female, the ener that energy is within you. His sword and armor show he is courageous and strong, but if you look closely, you will see he has a tear running down his face, showing his willingness to be vulnerable and his love for what he protects. The energy of respect is important, is important right now. You are being encouraged to figure out what is important to you and what you stand for. If you are in a space where there's opposition, you are being guided to follow through with integrity because even if it seems this will slow, slow your progress, your rewards will be much more abundant. You are being surrounded by a light of bravery to help you. This card also brings justice. If you are longing for justice, please know that the universal energies are working to bring everything back into order and that you don't need to force anything through what through your will, through with your will. If you have made any mistakes recently, it's important to take ownership of them so that you can align yourself with improving the situation. If you are feeling the need to defend your spiritual path at this time, back down and let it protect you, okay? I'm also picking up the sense of resistance. Like, I feel like you were resisting this spiritual path, this spiritual growth prior. And the divine is saying here, the advice is to go ahead and if you have made mistakes in the past, to take ownership of them because it not not until you do that will you start to experience the alignment with the cosmos with the star ancestor to really get the message of what your purpose and higher calling is okay if you like this message please leave a comment down below let me know how it resonates 
hit that like, hit that subscribe button when you guys do that. It really helps me tap into your guys' energy and provide these accurate, effective readings like you just witnessed. Thank you very much. So It was such a pleasure and humbling to do your reading. Thank you again, Sagittarius. Don't forget to live out your best legacy.